uh, with chapter three. Now it's 3.3, .3, which is called comparing linear and non-linear functions. Okay, so what's the difference between them? I mean, from the graph, you could see, for example, that this is a linear function because it's going up straight exactly the same. So it's going with the same slope, uh, same distance going to the right, then it's, uh, up. So that's exactly the same. So if you take any point on that line, uh, it will be exactly the same. Now we look at this one here, for example, you can see that's not a linear, so this is a non-linear because you can see that if it goes up, it goes up in a different way. So the slope is different here. So if the slope is different for every time you move up or down, that means it's not a linear. Now continue uh, with this section, then you go to the next section. The next section will, will take an actual uh, examples from life and uh, uses uh, this idea of functions and the relation between them. So here we're going to construct functions to model linear relationships. What does it mean? Notice that here we have time, which is in, in weeks, and here we have money. So we could use actual real, real examples of, of life. We're comparing time to money, for example, and we could use it as a graph. Uh, so we could explain more uh, the situation of that we are in and um, also anytime you're going to see something like this in this section it's going to be an actual example of real life here there for example they're making um, uh, every five toys cost for example 17.5 then 10, 10 toys will cost 30 as you can see that now that, that it's a constant rate of change so it's, it's changing on a, in a constant in a constant way so uh, that means uh, that's a linear kind of relation. Uh, anything, if it's if the change is constant, that means it's a linear. Okay. Now we could see here also a constant uh, rate of change, but this way, but this one's going actually down. Uh, here they're talking about burning a candle, for example. Every time you burn a candle, it gets smaller. So with time, so that's also a relationship, but it's a negative relation, so it goes down. Uh, the, th the last section that we're probably we're probably going to get to it is uh, a section also uh, related to the linear equation, and it's an increase or decrease. It could be not linear or non-linear. But we'll, we'll show you the example. What does it mean? This is an easier one, by the way. Uh, I'll give you another example better than this one. Now look at this one here. You can see that the line is going down. That's a, a decreasing. Now, at, at 2, you could say, like, well, it's stabilizing, it's constant, it's not changing here. Then it goes up, that's an increasing. And when it gets to 4, it goes back down as a decreasing. Okay, so here you could see that also an increase. Okay, constant, where's a 2? Then you goes increase, then constant, where's 4? And then it goes down 5 as a decrease. So that's, that's the only section. Yeah, that's the only thing in this section. Uh, it's an easy, an easy chapter, by the way. Okay, so I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.